Welcome to the Team Center Integration for SolidWorks, Enterprise Edition. This video demonstrates the top-down PLM design and multi-CAD design in context features introduced in this new product. A configuration engineer, working only in Team Center, builds an assembly layout structure, using both SolidWorks and non-SolidWorks mechanical designs. The assembly layout is defined in the Active Workspace Structure Editor. First, a SolidWorks subassembly is added. Next, Creo and Solid Edge installation subassemblies are inserted. Once the layout assembly is finalized, it is sent to a SolidWorks engineer for detailed design, via a workflow assignment. When the SolidWorks design engineer begins his workday, he logs into Team Center. He checks his inbox, which is conveniently accessible from within his SolidWorks session. Today he finds the task assigned to him by the configuration engineer. He can simply drag and drop the target assembly into SolidWorks, to begin the modeling tasks. The assembly is built in SolidWorks to match the layout defined by the configuration engineer, in Team Center. The user is notified of the modifications. Now the SolidWorks designer can find and insert designs from other mechanical design applications, directly reusing them in his SolidWorks assembly. First, he inserts a subassembly from Creo, under the installation assembly defined in the layout structure. Once the Creo assembly and its components are retrieved from Team Center, the user is advised to insert the assembly using standalone SolidWorks functionality, due to a SolidWorks API limitation. In the future this step will be performed automatically by the Team Center integration. The Creo subassembly is now positioned within the SolidWorks assembly, using mating constraints. These constraints will be retained as the Creo design is changed in its authoring tool. A solid edge subassembly is now inserted into its installation assembly, using the same procedure as was used for the Creo design. In this example, Two instances of a solid edge assembly are assembled into the SolidWorks design. Each of the two occurrences is mated to the Creo subassembly, using a combination of constraints. These constraints will be remembered as the Creo design is changed in its authoring application, providing a true associative multi-CAD reuse capability. The modified SolidWorks models are now saved to Team Center as new versions. The reused Creo and Solid Edge subassemblies will become linked to the SolidWorks assembly, creating a multi-CAD engineering bill of materials. Now, let's see what happens when the Creo design is changed in its authoring application. The Creo engineer interacts with Team Center via the same hosted Active Workspace client, giving him exactly the same embedded PLM experience as the SolidWorks and Solid Edge designers. In this example, the center section of the table array is removed, reducing the end to end length of the array, and changing the position of the segments to which the Solid Edge subassemblies are constrained within the SolidWorks design. How does the SolidWorks designer know that the Creo design he is reusing has changed? Team Center will tell him, the next time he refreshes his session. He can update his in-session model at any level. In this case, only the Creo installation subassembly has changed, and so he performs the update at that level.
Once again, due to a SOLIDWORKS API limitation, the Creo subassembly must be updated from within the SOLIDWORKS model tree. In the future, this step will be automated. Watch carefully, and you will see how SOLIDWORKS adjusts the positioning of the solid edge subassemblies, to adapt to the changes made in Creo.